What? No Candy Crush Saga? No Cortana. No Microsoft Store. There's no Microsoft Store apps at all. Hey guys, Bingo Cat here. So today we're going to be taking a look at Windows 10 LTSB, aka Long Term Servicing Branch. So what is Windows 10 LTSB? Well, Windows 10 LTSB is first and foremost it's meant for businesses. This isn't meant for consumers. Now, I know a lot of consumers will be watching this video, but this is meant ultimately for businesses. Now, if you're a consumer, it's still worth watching this video because Windows 10 long-term servicing branch is an interesting version of Windows 10, in my opinion. And in my opinion, is also one of the best versions of Windows 10. It's a shame they don't sell this version of Windows to consumers, but whatever. So what is Windows 10 LTSB? What makes it so special? Uh, the main thing about Windows 10 LTSB is that it gets updated slower than pretty much every other version of Windows 10. So the main versions of Windows 10 that Microsoft is pushing out, you know, Windows 10 Home, Windows 10 Pro, or the version of Windows 10 Enterprise that Microsoft wants to push out. Basically, uh, Windows gets updates as soon as they come out. As soon as Microsoft is done with updates, Windows will get updates and of course you can postpone updates for like 30 days or whatever in the settings but basically even huge future updates updates that could potentially break your computer um, you're gonna get it in most versions of Windows 10 this version of Windows 10 Windows 10 LTSB you won't get future updates for three years so here's the other thing about windows 10 ltsb is that it does not come with windows store apps or i guess it's now microsoft store apps at all it doesn't even have microsoft edge it doesn't have paint 3d it has absolutely no microsoft store apps now if you're like me i do work in it in real life this is actually a plus in a business environment because uh if you're like a lot of businesses you only want your employees to use a certain set of applications now unfortunately windows 10 ltsb is only available through volume licensing through microsoft so basically there's no way you can get this officially for home use legally. It's just not possible, unfortunately. Now, you can actually go to Microsoft's website and download an evaluation copy of Windows 10 Enterprise LTSB. That's what I did for the purposes of this video. All right, so we're booted up to the desktop and I already typed in my super secret password. So I want to make this clear, by the way. Windows 10 Enterprise LTSB absolutely does get security updates. It's not like you're not getting updates entirely. So if you take a look at the start menu in Windows 10 um, LTSB, you'll notice that there is absolutely zero Microsoft Store apps. The only universal Windows platform app in Windows is the settings app. And obviously you need the settings app to change some of the settings on your computer. So that's why Microsoft left the Windows settings app inside Windows 10 LTSB. But you notice that it doesn't even come with Microsoft Edge. If you want a browser, you have to use Internet Explorer or download a third party browser. And the calculator app, for example, the calculator app is the old Windows 7 style calculator app. You don't get the newer Windows 10 calculator app inside Windows 10 LTSB. Now, I don't know if Microsoft's never going to include Microsoft Store apps in the future. I think they will eventually start including Microsoft Store apps in Windows 10 LTSB. I just don't see them not doing that. For example, there's no way they're going to keep Internet Explorer in Windows 10 forever as the main browser. So they're, they're eventually, in my opinion, probably going to put in Microsoft Edge. Now, the reason that Windows 10 Enterprise LTSB is only available to businesses is because Microsoft doesn't want you using this as your main operating system. Microsoft doesn't even want businesses using this as your main operating system. Microsoft is trying to encourage businesses to go with Windows 10 Enterprise, the current 
branch for business because that actually gets feature updates as it comes out. Microsoft only wants you to use Windows 10 LTSP for systems that run like system critical applications like, you know, like maybe a heart rate monitor in a hospital or ATMs or stuff like that. Now, businesses can, if they want to, use Windows 10 LTSB for non-mission critical environments. The college that I go to, for example, uses this exact version of Windows 10, Windows 10 LTSB, uh, the 2016 version. They use it for all their libraries. You also don't get access to Cortana. You just have the regular uh, Windows search, sort of similar to how search worked in Windows 7. You just type whatever you want, like documents. It does not search the web at all. It does not use Cortana. It's just there's no Cortana in this version of Windows 10. If you're running this operating system on like an ATM, for example, you, you really don't need a voice assistant because you're just using the operating system for a single application so yeah now if you do take a look into the settings what i find interesting is the update settings here if you go into advanced options you don't exactly have this on most windows 10 pcs there's a button here where you can defer future updates and if you click learn more it's going to go ahead and open a page in internet explorer it says some Windows 10 editions let you defer upgrades to your PC. New Windows features won't be downloaded or installed for several months. But deferring upgrades don't affect security updates, but it does prevent you from getting the latest Windows features as soon as they're available. And if you're in a business, deferring upgrades might be useful because unfortunately future upgrades and even security updates um, they can break systems and it just it's just an overall pain for businesses and IT. So it's nice to be able to defer future updates if you want to. Now I've never actually showed you guys uh, enterprise specific operating system on this channel before. So Windows 10 Enterprise, if you don't know, some of the features that it has that let's say Windows 10 Home doesn't have is that uh, my personal favorite thing is, I don't really use this, but I, I still think it's neat, is that you can set group policy settings. So in businesses, you might have a server where you can configure group policy settings and what these group policy settings can do, for example. Like if you go under administrative templates and you go under Windows components, for example, and you go to, oh, I don't know, you go to like sync your settings what you can do is you can configure the computer so um, you can configure the computer so basically it's running how you want it to run for other users so you can configure your computer for example the not sync apps between different computers as someone signs in with a microsoft account you can configure the computer not to sync settings um, you can configure the computer to not let you sign in with a Microsoft account at all. You can turn off the Windows Mail application. Basically, you can configure a lot of settings in the local group policy editor. And of course, there are several other miscellaneous features that are available in Windows 10 Enterprise and Pro that aren't available in the home version of Windows 10. Like you can connect your computer to a domain, which I don't believe you can do in the home version of Windows 10. And a domain network is basically instead of you having a local account you use to log into your computer um, instead you have an account that's created by a domain administrator and there's a central server somewhere called the active directory server that basically stores all the logins for basically everyone in an organization and so a computer that's connected to the domain if you try and log in with your domain account it'll pull your login information from the server and create a new local account or roaming account on your computer and so you know other than that the differences between windows 10 enterprise ltsb and the other versions of windows basically almost any other version of Windows, is far and few. If you ever used Windows 10 Home or Pro, for example, you'll pretty much be able to use Windows 10 Enterprise. It's really not that much different. Aesthetically, it's still fairly easy to get around. If you ever used Windows in like the last 20 years, you'll probably be able to find your way around Windows 10 Enterprise LTSB fairly easily. 
Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and please check out my Twitter, Instagram, and Discord linked down below in the video description. As always, I thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.